Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Guys, today we'll be looking at the Surface Zero and how does it hold up as a laptop in 2021. Let's go ahead and get right into this. So starting off right away, guys, the really cool thing about this is all you have to do to go ahead and set this up as a laptop is have, first off, this bad boy right here. It's a $10 cable. You can get a $20 to $100 uh, keyboard. You can get a $20 wireless Bluetooth keyboard, and you can get a $10 wireless uh, Bluetooth mouse. Make sure you check out the channel tomorrow because I will have a video on the same concept with the Galaxy Fold 3, and I got some really good budget-type keyboard and mouses. I'm going to be talking about in that video, so make sure you stay in tune for the channel. But nonetheless, though, like I said before, you know you can do this with a very cheap setup. This one right here, that's $30, $40, and all you have to do is connect it to your TV. Bam. $40 setup plus having the Surface Zero, which you can get from anywhere from four to $600, right? So very cheap setup, very easy, affordable for anybody to go ahead and get. Absolutely amazing. But the question is, how does it actually set up? How does it work, right? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how good the concept is. If it doesn't work, it doesn't, you know, mean anything. But I will say, having that dual display is why this is going to be so gorgeous and beautiful. So let's go ahead and actually show you guys this. I'm going to make this like that. And now if I go ahead and move my mouse around, you can see it actually does go ahead and show up on both the uh, actual Surface Zero. And it also does show up on the screen right here because because it is literally just replicating my display to the very top here so I can have both at the same exact time. So if I scroll up, right, and I scroll up on either side, you can see there is a split display here. There's a split between left and right. But so what I can do here is actually scroll up on here and open up a Word document. So this is what's really awesome about this. So if you're a college student, let's say maybe, or if in general you might just, you know, want to have a kind of laptop computer at the and in your fingertips, you can without any issue. So I'm gonna open up a Word document right here. Let's say I'm uh, creating a Word document for class, right? Let's say I'm gonna write a whole entire Word document for class, but I need to go ahead and write on the left-hand side, my Word document on the right-hand side, I need to have my research up. So let's say, for example, my research I need is on something online, right? So I can scroll up like that, right? I have a whole entire right screen right here. I scroll up. No issue at all. I go down here. Let's go to um, Chrome. Bam. And I'm going to go ahead and go actually up a little bit here. Uh, where is Chrome? Bam. Right? Open up Chrome. And we're going to type in 1912. Yeah, I'm going to type in the War of 1912. Or 1812. Is it 1812? 1912. You know, I'm a college student. And I, I still have issues with that. Um, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say I think it's gonna be like that. War eighteen twelve. It is or oh, eighteen twelve. Okay, so let's say I need to have this right on this screen. I need to have my research up. So I'm gonna use the most credible source possible, right? Wikipedia. And I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down, scrolling down on the keyboard, so I have my access to my keyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and go to let's go to down here. Wikipedia, the most credible sources on this planet. And now I could actually have my whole entire research paper right here, right? That's all my information, right? And I'm going to start typing the war of uh, the war of 1812. Bam. And then blank, 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 you know, whatever, right? The rest of my document. So I can have my word document up here with my research ready to go. Don't use Wikipedia kids if you are in college, but nonetheless though, that's really awesome. That's really dope. And that's why a lot of people love the Surface Duo. And I know there's a huge market out there who say, oh, this is a stupid device. It's not a stupid device. There's so much you can do on it. So that's one thing, right? Now, let's say you're wiping a, you're typing a research paper, right? And you are, you know, you're enjoying your research paper. You know, you're making sure you're getting all your information correct. And if I could go ahead and scroll out of this. Um, and as you're doing that, right, you just want to go ahead and take a little bit of a break. Or maybe you want to have your Apple Music playing or your YouTube playing. I can actually go ahead and pull up YouTube, right? While I'm typing this whole entire paper, I can have my whole entire YouTube playing on the right-hand side here. Going ahead and maybe watching a video, but listening to music, you know, relaxing. While I'm typing up my paper the whole entire time. So... It's the multitasking angle. And you can do this on a PC or a laptop very easily. 
all you do is you go down to the taskbar, click right click on it, go on um side by side angles on your uh your actual uh devices or your um applications. You can do the same concept. This is just so much more fluent, right? This is built into the device. This is what the device is made for. So at the same time, on the left hand side, right, you're typing up your paper, you're typing up your information. You can have either your research on the right hand side, whatever the case. And this doesn't just apply to this. I mean, you could also do the same concept with, you know, outside of Word document, you could do the same concept with your Excel sheet, right? Or PowerPoint. It doesn't matter what you do it with. You can do it with anything possible. And the whole point of this is not to say, oh, this is how you go ahead and do college with this device. Cause I've already made videos about that. It's the concept of being able to multitask at the same time. The same concept applies to bringing up your Outlook email right here. While at the same time over here, maybe you have your calendar up, right? You have your calendar up while you have your Outlook email, you're responding emails and you have your calendar. You can go ahead and put in dates at the same time. Yes, you can do this on a normal laptop computer. That's not the issue we're talking about. The thing we're talking about is how easy it is to do it, how simplicity it is to do it, how you know fluent it is. And that's what's so beautiful about this device. And I think that's why a lot of people love this device. This can absolutely be a laptop in 2021. There's no doubt about that because of the price tag, the, you know, how easy it is you could take this to any one of your friends houses or anybody's house if they have a tv which i say 99 percent of households in america does you can plug this into the tv and be instantly be able to go ahead and boot this up and have a laptop type of a paper do whatever and at the same time you can also buy a if you want to your own monitor 70 80 monitor and have the same setup right there it is simple it is easy and that's why we love this so much and that's why we'll say this is a really great uh this can be used as a laptop and i'm not trying to fanboy off this but i'm just saying guys it is a really cool concept because of how easy it is to set up and how easy it is to use now we we're looking at like i said the galaxy fold 3 tomorrow on a video and we're going to do the same concept except we're going to be looking at a lot more budgeted options for keyboard and mouse than we have here but at the same time it's the same concept you can do uh when it comes to no matter what your setup is it is very easy simple now i'm going to link down below this one right here this cable i'm also going to link down below some good budgety type keyboard and mouses if you are interested in doing this setup if you're interested in going ahead and actually running the same concept i'm running i'm going to go ahead and try to help you out guys as much as possible but the same concept applies to your kindle so you can actually open up a book and be reading a book off your tv if you want to i know that's a little bit on the weirder side but like i said it just adds so much avenue so much different things and because i showed you guys before with different launchers windows launchers you can even do a remote play to your actual pc you can do so much with this little device and at the price tags that i know that's why a lot of people love it and it's just hard to go ahead and get away from that price tag when somebody actually commented they was so true about this they said you could buy two of these for the price of one surface one full three and that is very very true anyway guys if you did enjoy this video hit the lights coming down below i'll see you guys next one